Alright, so it's time to fly the Holy Ton HS330. I'm glad that this comes with three different batteries and a good set of instructions because this little drone has a lot of features on it. If you take notice on all four sides, you'll see infrared eyes there. There's actually one on the bottom here as well. The infrared is for the interactive mode, but first we're gonna try everything out using the remote, and then we're gonna go into sensor mode. So you can control this using your hands. It also comes with the throw and go option where you can throw it to turn it on. So we're gonna put one of these proprietary 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp hour LiPo batteries in. So here is the power button. There we go. Now, for headless mode purposes, we're gonna orient the head that way, tail this way, turn the controller on, so it's up, down, and now we have a bind. And then to calibrate the gyro, all we do is down and to the left. There you go, stops flashing, we're calibrated. Now this controller does come in mode two, but if you prefer mode one, you can actually switch this over. I'm not gonna switch it over though. There is only one way you can take off and it is by the auto take off, auto land. So this is altitude hold. And then to land it, obviously you can just one key land it. Take off again. Also, there's an emergency stop. You hold these two buttons for a couple seconds and then it just drops, shuts the motors off. So take off. Now to do the trim, you hold the left stick in and then you pick whichever direction you want to trim it. There we go. So that's how you do the trim. Let's check out the speeds. That's this button here. So this is the first speed. As you can see, very, very slow. That's as tight of a funnel as you can do. Y'all rate, so let's hit this button. Two beeps, and why is that LED flashing already? Is that meaning the low voltage already? Three beeps, picked up speed, funnels get a little tighter. I can't believe that's, that's flashing already. These were fully charged batteries. So let's do, well, let's see. Nope, can't do flips. That is low voltage. I only had it up in the air just a few seconds. Hopefully, the second battery doesn't die as quick as this one did. So third rate, eh, it's, it's not all that fast. Easy to control though, very easy to control. So, well, let's, let's switch the batteries out. Okay, now we're on battery number two. So right here is headless mode. Let's click that and yeah, there we go. Headless mode's working just fine. Left, right, forward, backward, no matter which way the front of the drone's facing. So let's get out of that. Now let's try these flips here. There, I'm in the third rate. Let's try the flips, which is this top button right here. Pick a direction, okay. Not bad on the flips. Now the last thing is obstacle avoidance. And this is the last thing for the remote. So it's long press on the speed switch for three seconds. Let's see if it'll fly into the door. No, it won't let me. Watch. Flying towards the door and it stops. Let's try, let's try flying sideways. Nope, well, there it did. It wasn't as good as like flying directly into it. Watch, stops it. 
Okay, long press, three seconds. Let's get out of that mode. Now we can fly around normally. So that was all of the functions. Let's turn this off before someone has a seizure. That was all of the remote functions. Everything else can be done by your hand with the infrared. So let's get rid of the remote and try everything else that we can do just by our hands. So now to go into sensor mode, we press and hold this till that light comes on. And then it says quickly hit the power button twice and then set it down till it stops flashing. And it's still flashing. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> so you can control it, put your hand under it and it'll lift up. You can control the direction. If you come down over the top, well, come on, go down, go down, whoa. <laughs> here, let's get back up here. Come on, lift up, lift up. There we go. All right. So that's that. And I think we're in low voltage now, but there's a few more tricks that this can do with your hands. So we're gonna go to the third battery, last battery. Put it down on the flat, wait for it to stop blinking real fast. So now it is ready to be tossed in the air. And we're gonna do auto rotating. So what you do is you go head to tail, whoa. Where are you going? Come over here. Here, get up here. Get up here, okay. So you're supposed to go head to tail. It's not working. Not working. Head to tail. Try this again. Head to tail. <laughs> and then to flip and roll, you're supposed to go on the sides at the same time, it says, and it's supposed to flip like one time towards the head of the drone. You see, it's, <laughs> it's like confused. When you put your scent, your, It doesn't know which way it wants to go. It's like, do I go right, do I go left, which way? At each side, it should flip. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> come on back up, come on back up. Each side, nope. <laughs> okay, so after all that, I got it to do a flip. Uh, the stop flying is in sensor mode. So you can, you can stop the drone by grabbing it with your hand and flipping it over. That I've been doing every single time. I couldn't get these to work. Okay, I turn the lights off and I'm facing this way, away from the sun. Let's go left to right. There we got a flip. Okay, so I can get the flips to go. So now it's saying, There we go. Now it's in circle mode. So maybe the lights or the sunlight coming in affected it. Let's try, yeah, flips we can do. Now we have to do head and tail. And then it, there it goes in circle mode. There's another mode where it's head, tail, and then underneath. Well, that's not. We got another flip. Head tail side. Woo! 
Head tail underneath. There we go, there we go. Now I got it. Head tail underneath. <laughs> All right, now this is, this is kind of fun. Now that I can see that it does actually work. Underneath. Well, there we got that rotation or circle mode or something. Yeah, that was circle mode. Rotation is where it just yaws in place. Head tail underneath. Head tail underneath. There we go. <laughs> so it depends. Sometimes you can get it head tail underneath. Ah, sometimes, as you can see, sometimes when you want to put it in rotation mode, it'll go into circle mode. All right, now let's. <laughs> oh. Go crazy. Well, that was the Holy Ton HS330. I must say it did take a few tries until I could get sensor mode down, but it does work. So, and it is pretty cool when it works. Remote mode, everything worked pretty good. You know, you had, you had the headless mode, you had the different speeds. It's not that fast. You have your flips and rolls. They are pretty good. It doesn't lose altitude on its flips and rolls. And then you have the one key takeoff and landing. And then you also have the obstacle avoidance where you fly it towards something and it'll like stop its flight. All in all, pretty good drone from Holy Ton, but that'll do it for this video of the Holy Ton HS330. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button right there, click that subscribe button. So that way you can join me when I check out the next Ready to Run RC.